everyone welcome to Eden's Secret today we are making something my customers have been and viewers have been asking me to make for years and years and years and years begging begging me to make and I've decided this year in 2020 to do some wax melts it really is about time isn't it so I've got these gorgeous um, silicon moulds from siliconmoulds.com and they're really fast with delivery. I literally ordered these on, what day is it today? It's Saturday. They came today and I ordered them on Thursday. So literally just two days to come. They came with... Um, Hermes, I think. No, oh, Royal Mail. It was something else I got today. Delivered today. So the ones I'm making today, literally just uh, for us here at home, and we're using um, Eco Soy Two Thirty. Now, I've literally just found out that the Eco Soy brand have gone into liquidation, um, which is a shame uh, because the Eco Soy 230, it's really, really fabulous wax. It's, it's a one pour wax. It's great actually for container candles also great for wax tarts and pillar candles uh, the melt temperature is 68 to 88 degrees centigrade and the pour temperature is 63 to 79 and the best thing with this wax is you can actually hold up to 18 um, percent fragrance so I'm using a Pyrex jug and I'm going to melt the wax into the Pyrex jug. And I'm just putting that straight onto my ring, my cooker ring, on number one, the lowest you can possibly get. So please keep an eye on your wax if you're going to be doing it this way you can melt it in the microwave or for extra safety use the double vo double boiler um, I actually just do it this way it melts quicker and it means I can get my products made quicker um, so let's get that done right now okay so let's check the temperature that's literally just melted it's 83.5 and it is all melted so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to transfer some a little bit because I want a bit of drizzle on there so I'm going to transfer some into this glass jar here And I'm just leaving uh, the main colour wax white. In this jar, I'm going to use some Gold Shimmer Mica from Mica Mama. This is absolutely stunning, this Gold Shimmer. It's my favourite out of all the golds I've got. This is beautiful. I'm just going to transfer some of that into there, stir it in, and mica melts really well. It 
into soy wax but if you are trying to colour your wax for the major part of your wax melt or your candle you really need to, need to be using proper wax colours um, and those will be doing in later videos but this is just for the purposes of this um, this first video which by the way is done on Eden Secrets 15th birthday yes Sunday the 5th of January it's Eden Secrets 15th birthday so we've got a brand new product to share with you especially for that day and I know I said during the 12 days of Christmas towards the end we would be showing you all the new products well literally this is the only one I've managed to get done because the sale has been extremely successful this year uh, so as usual I'm really really grateful to all of you for that uh, thank you for that uh, and the new product, new Eden Secret products will be coming. Um, before I do that though, because I'm talking, I forgot to do one thing. And that is to add the fragrance. So the fragrance I'm using... I'm just looking for my, no, I don't know where my measurer is and I don't need it because that's literally what I got this for. So we have um, 400 mils, well we've got 500 mils of wax in, in this container here. Which means if we we're going to put 10% in, we'd be putting 40 mils, 5, 50 mils, sorry. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I don't need, a, although it takes up to 18%, uh, percent, I'm actually just going to be doing this at 10%. So let's pour our cashmere fragrance into here. it's absolutely delicious i've gone over a little bit at six percent but it doesn't matter because no it's six mils i've gone over by six mils but it doesn't matter because um it literally the wax can take up to 18 percent fragrance so i'm going to put a little bit of fragrance into the color as well and the reason i'm doing that is because it just takes away any wax, waxy smells that might be in there. Now, as you can see, this container was cooler, so it's starting to set on the sides already. And it's fine because what we're going to do is we're going to just drizzle some drizzles. Actually, I think it's definitely let it get a little bit too thick. <laughs> I'm going to persevere with this though and just do it and see how it turns out. What I love about this uh, mould is you'll just be able to break off a section. It'll be just the right amount to put in, in your wax burner. So that's fairly thick already. I'll just throw the pipette away. Uh, 
and just letting the fragrance warm up in the um in the pyrex dish i like to let it warm a bit before i pour and give it a stir and i don't know just letting it warm up um means it combines with the wax better so we'll just check the temperature on that now and see if it's between 63 and 79 it's actually 69.8 so we could pour it now but I feel it's still a little bit too hot so I'm going to let it cool down um, a bit more it's really really quite hot to the touch so I would probably let it cool down cooler than 63 degrees just judging by uh, what it suggests there so I'm going to let that cool down a bit and then we'll come back when I'm ready to pour. Okay, so just check, checking the temperature again now. It's at 56.9 degrees centigrade and it's not too hot to the touch on the glass. So I'm going to give it another stir and just like cashmere cream is like a signature fragrance here at in secret it's always been our, one of our best sellers if not our best sellers and i've only ever sold it in soap because it does discolor quite badly um but i'm i'm thinking of other products that i can make with this fragrance and so the wax melts is definitely one in my bedroom I've got an oil burner and um, I've been using wax melts in then it, the the room smells absolutely fantastic so there'll be a lot of different fragrances in the wax melts this being the very first one I could list them but I can't remember all of them off the, off the top of my head but probably every fragrance that I do I'm going to do in the wax melt and it will be in a bar like this I just think it's such a useful shape and size um, it'll package up nicely I've got some lovely packaging for them I'm just filling them as much as I possibly can without flooding them over the edge they're as full as as full as we can get them so we're just going to let those set now and we'll come back when they are set so we can unmold them and the smell oh, it's just so delicious it's it's like a le lemon cheesecake but so much nicer everybody that buys it absolutely adores this smell okay so i've had this in the freezer because i tried to unmold uh one or two of them and the edges had, had crumbled away so let's see if this has made any difference putting them in the freezer yes definitely has but actually I can see this corner's missing here Sometimes there's just a knack to unmolding things to make sure that doesn't happen.
that's all you can see. I need to do a better job of that because there are still <laughs> which way? That's it. That way. That way. You can see there's still some wax left in there. But it's okay for now because these ones are literally just for us. And what I'm going to do with them, I'm going to take my heat gun. I actually got a new heat gun, everyone, uh, from b and Q. I I think it was only 20 quid, something like that. 25, 15 pounds, something like that. And just put the heat on. And I'm just going to go over the top of this a little bit. Just a bit. And then I've got some of that gorgeous gold mica in this container here. And I'm just going to sprinkle some little dots of it all over so the mica sticks to the melted um, wax it's obviously not melted very much so there you go that's what it looks like everyone I just want to thank you for everything over the past 15 years can you believe it 15 years um, that I've been doing this. I can't believe it really. Um, and I'm just so grateful again. I know I've said it. I'm so grateful for everything this year. This sale this Christmas has t turned out fan to be fantastic. Um, and I didn't expect that because the last few Christmas sales I've had haven't been brilliant. Um, but if it wasn't for you then it wouldn't be that way so we'll have some new videos coming up and some new products as well to show you uh, the packaging for these hasn't arrived yet but as soon as it does I will let you um, take a look at it and there you can see that gorgeous gold mica on top of there. So, happy 2020 everyone. Let's hope each and every one of you has a happy, healthy, wealthy if you want it to be, um, 2020. Hoping that whatever's going on in the Middle East right now, doesn't affect us and that all of those the troops and everyone that's been sent out there hoping that they stay safe and I'm just thinking of them and all their families at the moment um, got a bad feeling about this but let's hope not all right I'll see you all very soon bye bye for now